Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm Zs Caravalla from ZK Research, and I'm here at Fortinet's headquarters in Sunnyvale. I'm with Nirav Shah, uh, your SVP of uh, Product and Solutions uh, for Fortinet. You've been here a little over a decade now, right? And uh, this is a big week for you guys. You turned 25, right? So happy birthday, Fortinet. Uh, what's that mean to you, the, the turning 25? Yeah, first of all, thank you yeah. for having, you, having me here. Uh, it's incredible, right? Fortinet, we finished 25 years, and I'm just so proud of being here for 11 years. Because I remember the day I walked in and this focus on innovations still hasn't changed. Right? Ken Z and Michael Z built this company with focus on having the best security, best performance, yeah. making sure our customers can consolidate and have that best experience. And even today, it's the same DNA. Yeah, yeah. And so when you think back in your time here, are there a couple of memories, things that stand in your mind as uh, you hit this milestone? To me, everybody today talk about convergence. Yeah. And I remember when I, when I came to this company, convergence was like the main driver of building innovation. And my main memory is how we continue to have this networking and security convergence happening in areas like SD-WAN, how we disrupt the market, then with ZTNA, and now with SASE. But you're right, I mean, it just has some of the things of mm -hmm. convergence and having this engineering first approach has not changed. Yeah, and so let's talk about convergence, right? And you did talk about the uh, Fortinet really being the driver of bringing network and security together. But you've done other things, right? In fact, the FortiGate is a converged box. And so when you think about the vision of convergence, you know, how, how do you drive that evolution and how has that changed over the years? Yeah, look, uh, for Fortinet it was simple. When we talk about convergence, how do we bring the networking and security capabilities in the same OS, in the same software? And to do that, we need to build a purpose-built technology. So, I mean, to, we have been building our own ASIC which really delivers that convergence at scale. Yeah. And we keep on doing that. That allows us to bring these new capabilities in the same platform. And you're right, today, the way the convergence market is evolving, we have seen that success over the last two decades, and we continue to gain market share. Yeah, in fact, I think the ASIC is one of the best kept secrets in the industry. And just like NVIDIA makes a great GPU for accelerated computing, you've really got the equivalent for security, right? General purpose processors don't do processor intensive workloads. Well, they do a lot of things okay, right? In fact, Jensen always jokes that you need to run Word, right? But when you do something a little more process intensive, nothing beats custom silicon. And, yeah. and that's the vision that Ken Z had yeah. from day one, right? Build our own content processor, security network processor, and then when customers are using that, they are seeing these real advantages. Imagine many of our customers are saying that when they use the ASIC, the power consumption is 80% lower yeah. while they're using the most advanced security processing. So you're right, I mean, that's been one of the key driver of our innovation. And patents, you see our number of patents yes. over 1,300 higher than any other cybersecurity vendor. That just shows how this innovation Yeah, well patents can be, I mean, there's a lot of companies, a lot of patents, but you're, all, most of yours actually go towards building good products. Now, I think, when I, as an industry analyst, Narav, when I look at the market, share gains happen when markets transition. And I think there's few vendors that have taken advantage of those market transitions better than Fortinet. You talk about, in fact, prior to SD-WAN, you were nowhere in the WAN, right? It's just, you know, your uh, Santa Clara-based competitor there, I think, had like 90% share. But now you're the unit share leader in SD-WAN. Now, the big transition going on now obviously is AI. It took us like six minutes to get to AI. Yes. Um, how is Fortinet thinking about its product strategy to take advantage of this transition to AI? Yeah, look, when you, as, as you rightly said, we have the highest market share, almost 55% plus customers with 6 million plus devices use Fortinet technologies. But to do that and to manage the threat intelligence, we needed to build AI and machine learning 15 years ago to process that trillions of event. So we have been using AI and machine learning. In fact, we have again 500 plus patents in AI and machine learning. But as the time progressed, we also are focusing on generative AI. And today our AI is really focused on three areas. 40 AI assist, really help simplifying the security and network operations. 40 AI protect, to making sure any of those advanced attacks, we are protecting and making sure they are secure. And ultimately securing the AI and LLM. 
Yeah, and uh, when I think about AI, right, there's two sides, so there's AI for security, and you talk about how you can use AI to help operations work better, but then there's also security for AI, and that's making security, uh, using security to make AI safer. And uh, that actually lends yourself to the data center. Now, uh, in full disclosure, I'm actually here for an analyst event. I didn't just randomly pop in and set up a camera and run into Narav. Um, and you, ta you told us about some new products coming for AI security in the data center. So talk about those. Yes, yeah, so look, uh, today many of our customers globally are building the AI data centers. And to b when you're building an AI data center, you need to secure them end to end. And the first thing you need is a really good framework starting with a parameter security. So that's where the firewall with 400 gig connectivity, low latency, all this ASIC advantage comes in. But from there, you need an application and API security. So we have a web application firewall and we recently announced the data security. Yeah. We are further enhancing and adding the securing the AI and LLM infrastructure. So we are coming up with the newer innovation with that, which will allow our customers to secure from end to end from the firewall to all the way to the LLM. And that's really what customers want. That's what we are trying to go to the market. Yeah, well that brings a lot of that for the innovation you historically saw on the WAN, in the branch into the data center, and I'm really excited to see how customers react to that. It's been great. I yeah. mean, we have seen some very large customers globally in, in Asia, in Middle East, and in, in Europe where they are using this technology at scale, and we are so excited to secure the AI data center and help customers on that journey. Yeah, and um, uh, I want to talk about, uh, in AI, you hear a lot about trust, right? Everyone. Uh, is worried about lack of trust, you know, trust this, trust that, right? And when I talk to your customers, the one of the things they say about Fortinet is trust. They trust you, you tend to deliver things on time, but in your time here, you know, discuss why you think Fortinet is such a trusted vendor and why so many customers, almost a million customers now, rely on you. Yeah, it, it again goes back to the DNA of the company of, we are really giving our customers the best technologies and it was, it was interesting that recently when Forbes did a survey, Fortinet is ranked number seven across all the global companies as the most trusted company. Hmm. And I really think it's because of the way our focus on providing the best security with our threat intelligence. We work closely with CISA. We have signed the pledge to have a secure by design. We are working with Interpol, FBI. We are the founding member of cyber threat intelligence. It's really making sure that we are stopping the bad actors and doing that consistently, giving customers that trust, and that is really helping yeah, us. Yeah, and I actually think that trust is driven from the leadership down. Ken and Michael Z, I mean, trust is a really important thing to them. They want to make sure if they tell customers something, you deliver on it and it comes through, and I think that's made its way through the organization. Yeah, now, if, if I were to say Fortinet to the average security professional, they're going to say firewall. Right, but you've built a very nice, broad platform that includes firewall, right? And so, tell me about the the, the plus stuff. If you think about it as Fortinet as firewall plus, uh, how have you leveraged that firewall to create a broader platform? Yeah, great. You know? uh, Fortinet. I mean, when we look at our overall all the technology innovations we do, of course, we do really well in network firewall. And we call it secure networking. So we also have a very large market share in our switches and access point. Yeah. But then, most last many years, we have been focusing on unified SASE. So that SD-WAN success we talked about, we are building the entire SASE stack with the same OS, same AI. And we are seeing a tremendous uh, growth and customer interest there. And finally, we are, uh, our focus on security operations. We are building and continue to provide a SOC solution end-to-end, -end, right? And that having that SOC solution working with SASE, working with firewall, and building one platform is what Fortinet is all about. Yeah, you mentioned SASE too, and I want to maybe double click on that a little bit. I think your approach to SASE um, is a little bit different, right? I think if you were to ask you know, most industry analysts, media, customers of security to describe SASE or SSE, they would tell you it's cloud delivered security. Right? But you've made you while you have that, you also have an on-prem version of that. And it's interesting that when I look at the shift that AI has created with more people wanting to repatriate workloads, you go over to Europe where there's a lot more focus on data sovereignty, right? It seems that your SASE solution, being able to deliver it from the cloud or on-prem, actually aligns itself well to where customers are going. You're so right. Yeah, yeah. SASE 
is a great technology, a lot of our customers want, but SASE really needs to be flexible. And that's what differentiates Fortinet, because again, I come back to that 40 OS. The entire SASE stack, those 20 different capabilities are built in organically. So now customers can choose. They want to use them with SD-WAN on-prem, or they want to use it for remote users on the cloud. We provide both the options, and that truly help them with the user experience and lowering the cost. Yeah, and I actually, again, I think uh, just with so much focus today on the on AI, and if you were to ask people, well, what really drives AI value? Data, right? And so companies more and more are trying to keep their data in a place they can control it, which is on-prem, I should have the security there as well. You, yeah. You're right, and that is where the zero trust yes. discussion comes up, right? You want to make sure where the users are accessing the data, you are doing the zero trust and device posture check right there. And that delivers a better user experience and a quick validation. And for it, that's why we talk about universal ZTNA, which is an extension to the SASE. Yeah. All right, Narav, uh, as I mentioned, it's a happy birthday, 20 number 25. Uh, tell me about the future, though. When you look out next one, three, five years, if we do this again on Fortinet's 30th birthday, what will I be thinking of? Uh, I absolutely think that Fortinet will continue to be this innovation driver, but you will see this three core focus area. Fortinet will continue to drive this quantum safe innovation, just really important with the where market is going. Yeah. Number two, we will continue to expand our AI innovation with the genetic AI capabilities, what we do today, with where the future is going. But the third and the most important thing is, we are going to continue to have that organic focus on building the platform across the SASE, across the SOC, across the cloud, to help customers mm -hmm. flexibly deploy them. Yeah, well I'm glad you're going to stay focused on platform. Uh, in fact, I was talking to a CISO uh, the other day and he said, uh, this whole concept of trying to cobble point products together, he said, uh, has never worked, isn't working, and isn't ever going to work. And uh, now with AI, things have gotten sufficiently more complex that um, I, I think most customers will have to uh, actually move to a platform. So, it, and yeah. it, is, it is happening, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, I know we shared today, as, as, as we discussed many times, some great customer examples of large auto manufacturing, how they are using from firewall to SOC to SASE, and it's a journey. It's yeah. a journey of customers going back to the trust, going back to them achieving the right business outcome, and at the end of the day, we are going to be flexible, helping customers what yeah. they want. All right, and all right, now it's always great talking product with you and a little bit of Fortinet strategy. Anything else you want to add? No, that's it. Yeah, well, uh, so thanks for your time uh, and uh, for you watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, give us a like and also hit that subscribe button. So, on behalf of Narav Shah, I'm Zia Scaravala from ZK Reaches. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on my next episode of Zcast. Mm -hmm.